Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. I have another video today on my Ricoh GR3. Where did I put it? Oh, it's in my pocket. Can't say that about your X100V, can ya? <laughs> but uh, my Ricoh GR3. Now, I'll be honest with you, I was kind of a little bit bored of shooting 28 millimeters. Gotten a little bit tired of it lately. I was like, I need some variety in my life. And I was like, you know what? The Ricoh has that crop mode. And I know a lot of people think it's a gimmick. And I'll be honest with you, I've never used it before thousands of shots never use the crop mode and the reason is is because i know that if i use the 50 millimeter crop mode i'm going down to like seven and a half megapixels i've never shot that low right i, I you know I, i've been a sony a7r shooter in the past like give me my 40 megapixels <laughs> so, but i uh, i was like you know what i'm just gonna try it test it out and maybe uh well you know we'll see the results if the results are garbage we'll declare it a gimmick if the results aren't garbage then then we'll uh you know, that'd be cool if it was actually usable. So I wanted to take a look at some sample photos and show you my results. And uh, I'll be honest, I was pleasantly surprised. So without any further ado, maybe maybe you've wondered if the uh, crop mode is worth your time or not. Let's take a look at some sample photos. All right, so let's jump in and, and take a look at some of these sample photos. I will show you some of the ones that I cropped in on to give you an idea of just how much detail the images retain, whether it's good, whether it's bad, right? And then I'll have a, a number of sample photos that are mostly uncropped or only cropped a little bit at the end. So you can see all of those. You can see the 7.5 megapixels in all of its glory. Now, this first image was an abandoned building. I thought the door was pretty cool and the decorations around it. I fully expected to crop in 100% on this image and it just for it to be kind of a pixelated mess but if you look over at the the details on the you know the designs the molding on the side of the door the chain on the door i was kind of blown away that even at 100 percent crop you were still getting this with an image that was 7.5 megapixels to begin with now this next one is a vespa a red vespa took a, sp a picture of the speedometer on the handlebars cropped in Again, I was like, you know, this is pretty nice. It's not a 40 megapixel image, right? But I, I'm more than happy to use this kind of quality for just capturing memories or for personal work that, you know, I'm not being paid for. This next one, uh, the Peugeot truck zoomed in here on the license plate, about 100% crop, somewhere around there, maybe a little bit less. But again, retaining good quality detail. So I don't know technically what the, if you crop a 7.5 megapixel image to 100%, what kind of megapixels you're looking at there. Maybe somebody does comment down below if you if you know what that is. But I mean, I was pretty impressed. <laughs> and it made me wonder why it had taken me so long to try this crop mode. Here's a, a fruit stand that I took across the street. This one's not heavily cropped. Here's another 100% uh, crop. There's this mural of first responders on one of the walls. I took this from across the street and then zoomed in 100%. And again, I think it was like overcast lighting here, uh, but it looks looks pretty good. This next one, I, I don't know what sport this is. It's like some kind of handball, football or handball, soccer, whatever. Uh, but they were playing this on the beach and I gave this one kind of the, the panoramic x-pan crop and uh even even if you zoom in further than what i've got here you're still getting a, a solid amount of detail what else we got here now some of these yeah most of these aren't cropped heavily i've got two more that i want to show you here's another one taken from across the street of a fruit stand uh there's some the guy who sells grapes and apples and apricots and things and here's a pretty substantial crop on that all right, and then one more is of a cat. All right, here he is. And this one's kind of in the shadows. Cropping 100% or so. And you can see he has interesting eyes. I don't know if those are as naturally his eyes or if he was blind in one eye, but you can see, you can still see quite a bit there. So, uh, you know, I have to be honest and say that, that I was impressed. And I suspect that I'll probably end up using the 35 millimeter crop mode a lot more now that I realized that um, that the images hold this much detail. So was I a bit naive to think that 7.5 megapixels was gonna give me trash images that weren't even gonna be usable? 
Uh, yeah, I, I'd say that I was a bit naive. I wasn't around like in the mid 2000s when those DSLRs were coming out with 8, 10, 12 megapixels. And for the most of my photography uh, life, I've been listening to camera companies marketing, you know, 24, 33, 42, 61 megapixels now, right? And I'm always thinking, oh, I'm, I need more megapixels. I need more resolution. The reality is, I think a lot of us could probably do with less than what the camera companies have convinced us that we need. <laughs> so I'm I'm really quite happy. I think I'll use the 50 the 50 um, millimeter crop some more on the the Rico, and I'll probably use the 35 millimeter crop quite a bit more. I think that one's like 12 and a half megapixels or something. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But uh, so yeah, those are my findings with the, the crop mode. And maybe this will encourage some of you guys to go out and, uh, and shoot with the crop mode and enjoy the camera a little bit more if you are like me and also kind of worn out. Whoa, you just need some variety in your life. 28's great, it's my favorite focal length, but sometimes I like something different. So, all right, hope you guys have a fantastic week. And I don't know, maybe we'll be back next week to talk about some other weird Rico thing or camera thing. And until then. Bye. <laughs>